Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tip on how to adjust some settings on your Kodi to help reduce buffering. Th this will help, but this won't be the savior of all buffering fixes um, because as with any type of stream, you have limitations. For example, if you have a slow internet connection, this isn't going to help. Um, if the if the stream source is really slow, not going to help. Uh, let's say there's a soccer game, football game going on, and everyone is going to that provider at the same time, and the network's going to get congested. It's, it's like having um, one lane going downtown, and all of a sudden, a second lane pops out of nowhere, you still only got that one lane and people are trying to merge into that one lane. So it's going to cause a congestion and everything's just going to slow down. Um, your geographical location. So if you're in North America and you're trying to watch a game out of Europe and it's hosted on a European server, um, your, your physical location could make a difference. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed on applying this uh, this fix, I would say, to your Kodi. And the first thing you're gonna need to do is make sure you have the TV add-ons um, repository installed. And I will place a link at the end of my video to show how to install TV add-ons if you don't already know. Then, um, once you do that, we're gonna go um, straight into programs and we're going to go into add-on installer. And what we're going to do is we're going to do search by add-on and author. And we're going to type in just easy. And hit OK. And you're just going to want to install this add-on easy advanced settings. And install easy advanced settings. And then hit install. and now it's been installed. So now we're just gonna go back to our main screen and the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna to have to do a calculation and um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find available RAM that we have under system and then system info. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna look at our free memory line here and it's saying for me that I have 1353 available. So I'm just gonna to wanna to jot that down and then once I've jotted it down, I'm gonna take that number and divide it by three and then I get 451. Then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to times that by 1024. And then I'm going to times it once again by 1024. And you're going to want to take all the numbers to the left of the decimal. So now that we've got our calculation, we're going to go back to um, our main screen and we're going to choose programs. And then we're going to go to easy advanced settings. And then we're going to go into edit settings. And then we're going to scroll down here to network settings. And then we're going to go down to network again. And then we're going to go down to the uh, curl client timeout. And we're going to change the value here to 10 and hit OK. Then we're going to go down to the curl low speed time and we're going to change this to 10 as well and then hit OK. And then we're going to go down to the buffer mode and we're going to put this to 2. And we're going to go down to the read buffer. And we're just going to erase where it says disabled, and we're just going to make it 5 and hit done. And now where it says the cache mem buffer size, um, we're going to click on that. And we're going to erase the line where it says disabled. And we're going to take the number that we took down. So my number is fairly big because I'm on a laptop, so I have a lot of free memory. Um, your number will be probably a bit smaller than mine. Probably much smaller than mine. Um, and you're going to type in what it is. So mine is 472 907 
776. And then I'm just going to hit done. So now that all these options have been filled out, what you're going to do is you're going to hit backspace or um, back button on your remote. Uh, you're going to hit back again. And then you're going to hit back again. And then you're going to want to make sure, make sure you do not miss this. You're going to hit write XML file. And you can see the um, easy advanced settings file created. Your settings are all done. Just close out. And what I would suggest is for you to either reboot your system or log out of Kodi and come back in. And your settings are now in place. Um, you probably don't even have to log off, but I'm just doing it as a safeguard. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This should um, help you in some instances the resolve some buff buffering issues but you all also have to be open-minded that you are getting it from free sources that are congested so hopefully these settings work for you if they do drop a comment down below i'd like to hear um people's feedback um if you can like the video and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one thanks